next performer, Abe Bernstein, is going to do the man with the golden tongue. I have a little problem that I hardly dare to mention. My penis sometimes fails to come to a complete erection. <laughs> this soured me on sex a bit when I was very young. And so to compensate for it, I learned to use my tongue. <laughs> came to see how much a well-trained tongue could do. I set about another task, to train my fingers, too. And then I learned how I could use my lips, my cheeks, my nose, my ears, my knees, my belly, and my elbows and my toes. Now my entire body gives pure sexual delight. And women gather around me and they shiver at the sight of a body tuned to passion, tenderness, and gentle touch. A body that can give them that for which they've yearned so much. A body that's so full of love and gentleness and power that with its help they keep on coming hour after hour. <laughs> And I have learned that the big things for which most women yearn are to be heard and listened to, and to listen in return, to hear a man who tells his truth, and not in words alone, but with his body, and to hear him sigh and cry and moan, and to be told that they've been heard in words, but even more in looks and touch and tenderness and laughter. For before a woman can feel safe, she has to feel that she can trust, not just the man who's with her, but herself. Indeed, she must if she's to open up to life and really feel free to let herself enjoy great sex and sensuality. And to feel free to blossom fully at her partner's touch, to love and play and cuddle and to laugh and cry and such. That is what most women yearn for. Yes, I've learned it's true. And let me tell you this, my friends, men mostly want it too. <laughs> Although we may not show it, we men too would like to heal. And to be heard and listened to, and to experience real intimacy, love and care and sensuality, and passion, joy and tenderness, instead of misery. Men have been hurt, and men know pain. Men hate rejection too. And men too want to banish fear and to begin anew, to feel safe enough to trust and ask for what we want. Not just a cunt around our penis or our penis in a cunt, but a cunt that will engulf us with real love and joy and care and excite us into rapture, a game that two can share. We hunger for a woman who knows how to be free and who'll help us let go our fears and feel great ecstasy. Although we may not say so, this desire tribes us too. So listen to these words, for they apply to me and you. If all of us would learn to play, to ask, and to explore, we would find, find joy and rapture and more, oh, so much more, for it's a fact that each of us have all the tools we need to open gates of passion and to let pure joy be freed. We all have lips and tongues and teeth and cheeks and hair and eyes. What matters is their skill at play and not their shape or size, their color, weight, or symmetry, their heft or heaviness. The same is true for vulvas, breasts, and balls and penises. We all have nipples, all have skin, we all have tender spots that can wiggle in pure ecstasy and really get the hots. So, if you have a penis that at times is not erect, if your vagina sometimes doesn't become fully wet, if your buttocks seem too flabby, or your breasts too full or flat, your rib cage on the skinny side, your stomach rather fat, remember that the point to having all these parts of you 
is not in what they look like, but in what they can do. <laughs> and they can do amazing things. I tell you truly, friends, that this is true of everyone, of women and of men. We really are magicians. We can do all kinds of tricks with our fingertips, our teeth and lips, our tongues and cunts and dicks. <laughs> If we just ask for what we want, and if we dare be brave and try to please each other, we'll get everything we crave. So remember, if your cock is limp or if your bowl is dry, they still can give great pleasure. All you have to do is try a little this, a little that, all sprinkled with a laugh, a joke or two. Then nuzzle, do, each on your own behalf. For a body that can love and laugh with gentleness and power, can enjoy a state of rapture lasting hour after hour. You see, the trick to making love lies not in what you say, but in playing with each other, using all your parts to play. To tease and tickle, to caress, to give your partner ease, to drive your partner wild so your partner begs you, please do more of this and less of that and touch me over there. Oh yes, oh yes, I love you so, I know you really car care. <laughs> Now let me do the same to you. How do you like this? Uh -huh. And that, my friends, is the essence of sexual, sensual bliss. Uh -huh.